show you guys this gun i got and yeah should be cool okay and for these forget these suckers that way i can hear my wife complaining at me one day <laughs> all right everybody i don't know if you can see this very good but what we have here is the anderson manufacturing am10 i don't know what am stands for probably anderson manufacturing <laughs> so pretty good looking gun to be honest now, I don't know what model this is. I don't know, like, barrel length. Basically, I bought this from my buddy Quam. You guys have seen him on the channel before. I link his uh, YouTube channel down below. But that's what we got. We've got a V-Life 30, or not 30, 3 by 9 by 40 millimeter sight. So, yeah, we'll see how good of a job my buddy did sighting it in, because I have no idea. Drop my freaking earplug. Get it all dirty so I can get an ear infection. But, yeah. That's what we got here. We're gonna try it out today. I've shot this gun once, but it's been a while, so we'll see. Start off with about 10 rounds. I got 40 rounds, so one full magazine and one 10 round section or whatever you want to call it. Now this was a really, this is pretty cheap ammo. I think it's like 53 cents or whatever. Uh, I think it was 10.99 for a case of candy, a box for 20. But yeah, basically it's the cheapest stuff on the market. Ain't got a ton of money here to be buying any shells. Yes. Okay. That's one full 10 round magazine. All right. What the heck? My sticker up there. He done did me dirty. He's a, uh, I guess my target. Like flipped upside. So I got to go back out there and actually fix that before I start shooting. Uh, we got that sucker fixed. Now what I'm going to do is a three round group to see how accurate this gun is. Now that is being said with the cheapest ammo on the market. If I get like one inch groupings at 100 yards, I'll be happy. So we'll see. Another thing we're testing is how well Quam sighted in his gun. <laughs> I have no idea. So we'll find out here in just a second. He might have done a great job. He may have done a horrible job. We'll see. We're about to find out, Quam, how well you had your firearm sighted in here. Well, <laughs> my target done did flu. <laughs> I shot it once and it flew off. So, uh, well, we'll just shoot a clay pigeon. Now, I looked like it was shooting slightly to the low right. It's pretty accurate when you're like aiming for. Like, so this gun hits at 100 yards, it's hitting a little low right. So I'm just aiming. How many was it? About one or two mil dots down and one or two to the right. Yeah, something, something like that, but. All right, we're good to go. We'll see if I can do this freehand or not.
Uh oh. <laughs> we'll see if I can do this freehand or not. I don't think it goes around. Let's double check. Okay, there it is. Anyway. <laughs> this gun is pretty accurate to be honest like as far as i'm concerned i'm not looking for like pinpoint accuracy i'm looking to be able to hit kind of what i'm shooting at now i do need to decide it in more but if i can hit like this big of a circle maybe this big at 100 yards i'm happy but i will need to come sight this in if you guys want to see like a sight again video where i'm a little bit more prepared than i am today let me know but as far as this goes just shooting for fun today just kind of getting used to this gun and seeing how it works so okay i'm gonna shoot at that wood all right he's shooting at that wood down there right there gonna send a couple rounds at it We're gonna do one thing with this gun, it's referred to as the belt loop trick. All right, $3.50 here with seven rounds. It's actually like three, three dollars and, I don't know, 70 cents. But, you ever got three dollars and 70 cents burning a hole in your pocket? This is how to get rid of it in about five seconds. <laughs> now, do this at your own risk, do this in uh, uh, safe areas with trained professionals, and uh, don't be dumb, and yeah. But, this is how you get rid of a lot of bullets. Double check, did that actually chambered? Yes, it did, okay. Okay, this is how you get rid of a lot of bullets, a lot of money, in a very, very short time. Do this with your gun, starting on safe. Always keep it in the safe direction, no matter what. Hold it up at a good angle. Get your thumb looped in well. Kick it off safe, and uh, that freedom ring, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, I wish I had more bullets in there. That was sick. One of these days, I'll come back with a full magazine. That'll cost me, that'll cost me roughly, what is that, like 15 bucks? Yeah, about 15 bucks for that. But we'll come back with a full magazine and do that another day. I only had seven today. I don't want to annoy this guy. He's actually driving over here. I wonder if he's going to ask me if we got a full auto. But nah, bro. <laughs> called the belt loop trick and it's freaking fun <laughs> but that is how you shoot a lot of rounds in one quick succession now i'm gonna go grab that piece of wood i was shooting at i'm gonna pick up my 40 shells here if i can find all 40 of them and yeah we'll call it an evening there i do appreciate you guys staying tuned let me actually grab that wood and i'll show you guys what it did to it quick overview of that gun real quick so that gun is heavier than I am used to. That being said, the gun I am used to as far as ARs go is called the Kaiser Monarch. Um, I think the one above the one I've got is the X7. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just the Kaiser X7 and the Monarch's the one above me. I don't know. But I'll show you all here. So the one shot I was able to get on this target before it folded up on me was right there. I was aiming right in there. This is about, I don't know, 75 yards right in there. So that's what I got. As far as shooting this piece of wood, oh yeah, I hit it more times than I thought. You can see right here, it's got a bunch of hits. These must be the exits right there. Just more torn up. So, I don't know, right off here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe seven or eight. But yeah, that was fun. So, <laughs> we'll come back and do like an actual sighting in video. We'll just say this is the first look of the video. Or, <laughs> this is the first look of the gun. We'll do like a full-on review of it eventually. I don't know when, but 
stay tuned for that if you're interested. But like I was saying, the gun I am used to as far as AR-15s go is a Kaiser Monarch X7, Kaiser X7 Monarch something. <laughs> Basically, there's one step up from the one I've got. I've got the one right below it. I shouldn't say I've got it. A family member's got it. So yeah, that's everything I've got. Um, real quick, that's not everything I got. So I think this gun probably weighs around six, seven pounds. The one I'm used to is probably 4.5, maybe five pounds. So it's a little bit heavier than I'm used to. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, as far as I can tell, it's decently accurate. I will come in and probably do like a sight-in video. And yeah, if you guys want to see more videos with this gun, drop it down below what you want to see. I could also probably do a video on that Kaiser Monarch. Just keep in mind, these are a little bit of an investment, these videos. Each one, if I'm buying the cheapest ammo, is about $21, $22 just for the ammo. Um, today I spent about $37 including my targets and earplugs. So just keep in mind, I am kind of spending a little bit of money here. One for my fun, two for your guys' enjoyment. So hopefully you guys appreciate it. I had a fun time regardless, but hope you guys enjoyed. I will pick up all these shells here. And yeah, give me just a second. Count. All right, I didn't count, but I think I got like 90% of my bullets here. If not, maybe more. All right, I'm missing like three. Let me look real quick and see if I can find those three. So if my count's correct, I'm missing three. I'm not really sure what those might've been. But as long as you guys can pick up like 95% of your bullets, if you can, 100% is better. But just kind of take care of the public land around you that you can use to shoot. There in Utah, it's kind of nice. This, uh, this shooting range, it got kind of trashed a couple years ago. Or it was trashed over like a period of maybe a couple years. I don't know, four or five. Um, they did a big cleaning project on this. And this range has been really clean ever since. I mean, we had, as long as you're trying to do the best you can, pick up your shell casings, pick up your targets or whatever, clay pigeon pieces. Doesn't really matter. I mean, if there's full clay pigeons out there, maybe we'll pick them up. But as far as stuff that you can pick up and it's not going to biodegrade in a year, pick it up. That way you can keep this public land public and we ain't having to go pay to go shoot at shooting ranges that have strict rules. Uh, here it's nice. You can just come out here and you can belt loop fire and nobody's going to come yell at you. I hope. <laughs> um, yeah. Beautiful Utah Canyon here beautiful gun i like it we'll do some more videos with it probably maybe like sight it in better and go try to hunt some coyotes or something let me know what you want to see i've got a stoger m3500 this gun that's about it so if you want to see either of those videos again of that gun or what you want me to be doing let me know maybe i'll go skeet shooting or something hit up the old qualm qualm you down bro i know you watch until the end qualm so hit me up bro if, if you don't hit me up in like two days i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm going to expose you for not watching my full video, so, so hit me up. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you on the next video of Curtis's mis Misadventures. I don't know. That's everything I've got for you guys. I've been blabbering for the last probably 10 minutes, so I'll let you guys get back to the evening. Y'all have a great, great night or day or afternoon. Or See, I'm going off again, so <laughs> see ya. Y'all, I found my final three bullets. Oh, where'd he go? They were in my windshield wipers. One. Two. And three. Be nice in my window wipers. Just kick that out of the car. Okay. Got my last three bullets. Toss them into the deal. All right. You know, it's funny. I kicked on my windshield wipers to wash off this junk. And I was like, what the heck's on my windshield? It was my bullets that I lost. And I know where they went. But now I'm gone. Peace out.